clouds in the afternoon, showers, thunderstorms possibly late Monday night and into a good portion of Tuesday before it clears out again coming up on Wednesday, Gene. All right, thanks, Mark. It's Friday. Time for our That's Entertainment segment with WPRO's Rebecca Berger. Hi, Rebecca. The Royals are certainly entertaining, right? They're the top story tonight. They are. What's better than Hollywood royalty? Real royalty, Gene. Yes. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge continue their North American tour. They're touching down in Southern California. In the next couple hours, the Royals will be welcomed by California Governor Jerry Brown. Kate has never been to America before, and this is William's first California adventure. They have a jam-packed itinerary, which includes afternoon tea today with David and Victoria Beckham, and they're going to be walking the red carpet tomorrow night, big night, British Academy of Film and Television Arts Dinner. They're going to be honoring 42 young filmmakers, Will, and the Royals will be the yeah. guests of honor. Big event, lots of guests, including Barbara Streisand and husband James Bowen, Jennifer Lopez and husband Mark Anthony, Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson, Nicole Kidman, star-studded event, and a little bit of comedy, too. Zach Galifianakis, Ed Helms, yeah. and Jack Black will be there as well. It'll be funny to see the Hollywood royalty being starstruck by the real royalty. I know. They're not going to Disney World, or no. Disneyland, rather, and they're, gonna, they're actually going to visit some needy neighborhoods, so they're squeezing a lot in in 48 hours. They're going to be doing a lot of charity work. Maybe they'll see some reality stars like Nicole Richie, which leads us to your next what is she up to now? So Nicole Richie, she's been a little bit out of the news the last couple of years. Um, reality TV is what made Nicole Richie who she is, along with Jessica Simpson. The two are going to be on fa the fashion star panel for NBC. It's where aspiring fashionistas and fashionistas will have their chance yeah. to show their design chops to a panel that includes Simpson and Nicole Richie. And that will be premiering in 2012. Now, Jessica Simpson, she can sing. What does Nicole Richie do again to remind me? <laughs> well, she is kind of one of those people famous for being famous. Now yeah. she's got a fashion line and okay. she's an overall celebutante. All right. Uh, the situation, speaking of celebutants, I guess, the situation is, well, is he leaving the Jersey Shore? What's the story with That's him? That's not his only problem, Gene. Today, TMZ was reporting that Mike the Situation Sorrentino is being sued for $1 million by his former management agency, Gotham New York City Entertainment. They claim that they were wrongfully fired after taking Mike the Situation from relative obscurity to superstardom. Also, it seems that he seems to be saying he's getting too big for the Jersey Shore house. <laughs> And he could be leaving uh, this upcoming season for season five. Vinny from the Jersey Shore has left, so the walls are crumbling at the Jersey Shore house. Looks like they need a visit from uh, Uncle Gene Valcenti to go down oh, there. Oh, I don't know, no, no. That's not the Jersey Shore I remember, by the way. The, uh, the one I remember is very, very nice. Now, quickly, what's I'm the sure. hot movie for the weekend? We have two hot movies, Horrible Bosses, starring Jason Bateman, Charlie Day, Jason Sudeikis, Jennifer Aniston. The film follows Nick Dale and Kurt, who devise a plan with help from a shady ex-con played by Fox to permanently get rid of their bosses, but... Plans go awry. The comedy is rated. It's rated R. And also, Zookeeper, kind of more of a family choice. Rosario da Dawson, Kevin James, another big cast. The right. film follows Griffin, a zookeeper, who's convinced the only way to get a girl is to quit his job. But the zoo animals talk, talk to him. It's kind of like Dr. Doolittle. All right. All right. We'll hold it there, Rebecca. You're on the radio with me tomorrow. Absolutely. Yes, Rebecca is on the Gene Valicenti show with me Saturdays from 9 to noon, followed by her own show from 1 to 2 p.m. on News Talk 630 WPRO and 99.7 FM. Early reviews are in for the eighth and final Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, premiered in London last night. The eighth film brings the story of the boy wizard to a dramatic close. Fans who have seen the first screenings are posting rave reviews. The movie opens in the U.S. one week from today. All right, coming up now, find out why the Donald was down in Panama, plus fans of ebooks gather for a preview of the latest gadgets. Gary Lay and Storm Team 10 HD, the team you trust. The Today Show is brought to you by the most trusted name in mattresses, Sleepy's, the mattress professionals. Today's a day. Brought to you by the most trusted name in mattresses, Sleepies, the mattress professionals. Call 1-800-SLEEPIES or visit...